I'm gonna try it. We will see how this goes. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing something that you might think is a little weird. Um, I'm going to be trying the curly girl method for hair care, the curly girl regimen. I don't know if that's what it's called, but we'll call it that, the curly girl regimen. So yes, I know my hair looks straight, um, maybe a little tiny bit wavy right now, but my hair naturally is a little bit wavy, especially the shorter it gets. Um, if I have a day where, let's say, I take a shower at night and I like don't really do anything to my hair and I sleep with it wet, the next day it's really, really wavy. My hair is very heavy. I am 5'11". My hair is pretty much down to my butt. I have almost three feet of hair on my head. Um, it weighs down my natural waviness a lot. So I was kind of hoping that I might be able to like maintain those waves better if I try this curly girl method. This curly girl method. I was doing research online and I saw a lot of before and after photos of girls with hair like this and girls with hair that was like perfectly wavy and beautiful and I'm just like, how? So, you know, it's worth a try. It might not work for me. It might work for me. We'll see. So basically, I'll start by sharing with you the products that I'm going to be using. Um, very, very roughly explaining the steps because I'm going to have to reference um, an article a lot when I'm doing it myself. So I'll link the article below. So if you want to know like all of the steps, then you can, you know, get all of your information from there. But let's see, to start, when you first start the curly girl regimen method of hair curls protection care, you have to do a sort of reset with your hair. So basically a lot of our shampoos, conditioners, other products have silicones, they have sulfates. Um, silicones build up and they're really hard to get out of your hair. Sulfates are actually the only thing that can get silicones out of your hair. So they recommend that you do a reset at the very beginning with a shampoo that only has sulfates and has no silicones. So you're essentially getting all of the silicones, all of the like gunk out of your hair, giving it a fresh start so that your natural oils can actually, you know, come through that the conditioner that you're putting in and the other products that you're putting in that are not bad for your hair can actually, you know, penetrate your hair without having that silicone coating your strands. So this, um, this is the V05 Alberto Kiwi Lime Squeeze with Lemongrass Extract brand. It was like 90 something cents at Walmart. It's so cheap. You're supposed to get a gel. Again, you're not supposed to have any silicones, no parabens, no sulfates. Ooh, does this have sulfates? Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Um, so this product is something that was recommended to me in a curly girl hair group. Um, so I'm going to try this. I actually read online that you're supposed to get an affordable gel uh, because they recommend you just put like a lemon sized gob of gel in your hand and while your hair is sopping wet, just coat your hair in the gel and get it like crunchy 90s to 2000s style hair like Justin Timberlake top ramen noodles like full-on crunchy style and then you decrunchify it somehow I don't really know all the details you're supposed to squish it out I need to reference that again obviously but I'm going to try and do that um maybe I'll do that part on camera I don't know but We'll see how that goes. I'm a little scared to put that much gel in my hair with how long it is. I just feel like this is going to be a mess. Now moving on to kind of what you have to do regularly with the curly girl method. So basically you have to get a shampoo and a conditioner. A lot of people don't do any shampoo with the curly girl method. They call girls with wavy hair wavies and then there's, there's like wavies and curlies. And for girls with wavy hair, um, your hair is less prone to being as dry as girls with very curly hair and so a lot of girls with wavy hair do have to use a shampoo but they refer to it as a low poo 
Um, basically, you get a shampoo that has like no sulfates, no silicones, no bad things, all the good things. You put it in your hair, you wash it. Um, you have to figure out how long or how often works best for you. But what a lot of people do is they co-poo. This is washing your hair with conditioner. Have no idea how that will work for me, honestly. Um, but luckily, I already had these. I already used these. I love this brand. It's like Love Beauty and Planet. It's pretty much the only shampoo that doesn't destroy my scalp and make it super itchy and irritated and have dandruff. I know that's gross, but being real, I'm terrified to use this. I feel like it's going to annihilate my scalp. It is less than a dollar. It's called clarifying shampoo removes dulling residue and I'm just picturing it removing the outer layer of skin from my head honestly so we'll see how that goes um one of the other parts of the curly wheel method is you don't brush your hair like ever you don't brush your hair that I just that terrifies me it's so long it's everywhere it's just the wind I don't know how this is gonna work but what they recommend is you get a wide tooth comb. I already had this. You um, only comb it in the shower after you condition, I believe. Yes, so I will go take a shower, wash my hair, see how this goes. I'm nervous because you're supposed to do a thing where you like flip your head over and get your whole hair wet while you're doing the things to it and I can't get water in my ears <laughs> so I'm like I wonder how this is going to go but I will we'll figure it out it'll be fine so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will see you guys in a minute well I'm now out of the shower. I have an obscene amount of gel in my hair. That shampoo, the one that was supposed to um, reset my hair, made it feel like straw. And then the conditioner, I was doing the, um, what is it called? Squ squish to condish method of conditioning my hair, where you like flip it upside down and then you like scrunch it like this. And then I applied my gel in the squishing manner, like upside down, you know, like this. I probably look so ridiculous right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yes, you're not supposed to use a towel. Probably should have led with that if I didn't mention it earlier already. You're not supposed to use towels. It's bad for the fibers of your hairs on your heads. So you're supposed to get a cotton shirt. I used a long sleeve and you're supposed to just plop your hair onto said shirt. I need to stop acting this out. <laughs> you need to plop your hair onto said shirt and then kind of wrap it around your head and tie it and let it dry that way. Or you can diffuse with a blow dryer, which I think I mentioned before, um, they actually recommend no heat, but I think I'm going to try and figure out a way to diffuse. I'm going to try it. We will see how this goes. Well, I mean, so far, you can see that there's some waves. What it looks like to me is that it's going to probably dry kind of frizzy. I don't know. This is kind of how my hair dries when I um, wash it and then don't do anything to it. Anyways, I'm going to go let this air dry and I'll be back when we're ready to do some crunch scrunching. Hey guys, so it's been a while. My hair is mostly dried. It's like still barely damp, but as you can see, it's definitely pretty wavy. I'm sorry the lighting is bad. I would just do natural lighting, but it's actually pretty dark now. Um, well, it is dark because it is nighttime. So right now, 
That's what I'm working with. Um, I'm not shocked at the results because my hair, like I said, is naturally wavy. Like I've seen my hair like this before. Um, but that being said, I think I'm going to keep doing it just because I've noticed that people get really crazy results over time and I am curious just to see what happens. I'll say one thing I noticed is that my waves are um, higher up than they normally would be which is kind of nice. A lot of the times they tend to stick from like maybe here down or something like that um, but they're pretty high up so that's nice but um, as far as everything else goes it is kind of frustrating not brushing my hair <laughs> that's going to be probably one of the most difficult rules to follow and you know i don't even know if i'm going to follow everything super super strictly but i think for like the sake of experiment i'll probably try to follow everything pretty close but i decided that i'm going to see how it looks tomorrow um after i've slept on it and just kind of do an update then. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, you guys. It is the next day. So last night, um, I looked up what I was supposed to do as far as sleeping, how I was supposed to protect my hair um, while I was sleeping. And so it said to do a bun or a loose braid. And every time I do a bun, it leaves a crease. So I tried to do a really loose braid so that it didn't like hold too much of the wave. But, um, then I looked up what you're supposed to do the next day to kind of like refresh your style anyways and you're supposed to get it wet. So it didn't really matter. I got it wet and then I applied more gel. I had to wait for it to dry again, then do the punch and the scrunch, scrunch, scrunch out, scrunch out the punch. No, oh my gosh. Scrunch out the crunch, scrunch out the crunch. Oh my gosh, that really hurt my head. Um, so I had to crunch out the scrunch Anyways, so I took a towel, not a towel, you're not supposed to use towels, a t-shirt, and you just kind of scrunch your hair where um, all of it feels stiff, you know? And at first I was having issues, so I looked up a video and that kind of helped me. You just type out the, the phrase that I apparently can't say, and um, you really just take your shirt and you just kind of, like, rubbed out. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, that being said, these are the results. This is just from day one, I guess today would be day two now, um, of me doing the curly girl method. Um, I'm not shocked with the results. I'm not like thrilled with the results. I'm going to keep doing it because I am curious to see what happens over time. If you have hair similar to mine and you have done the curly girl method and it's just like worked wonders for you, how long did it take for you to see epic results? Just out of curiosity. Um, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of big things coming up. I'll be starting fertility treatment probably within the next few months and then I'm also going to be getting a hearing aid at some point this year um, but yes lots of fun things coming up I hope that you guys come along with me for the ride I guess that's it I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time bye